Hello everyone, I'm going to discuss with you as a continuation of our week 3 discussion on the morality of human act. This time in week 4, we are going to talk about modifiers of human act. So the main point of talking about this is to how these modifiers lessens moral accountability accountability so what what is modifiers of human act modifiers of human act are factors and conditions that affect to a considerate extent man's inner disposition towards certain actions so these modifiers of human act are also called obstacles of human act that affects or prevents a clear knowledge of the object of the act. It may impair the coming about of a human act in its roots by diminishing or preventing the consent of free will. These obstacles may increase, decrease, or totally inhibit human behavior from moral accountability or liability. In other words, it implies specific influence on the mental and or emotional state of person concerned to the point that the voluntariness involved in an act is either increased or decreased. So this is significant because the moral accountability of the doer of the action is also increased or decreased as the case may be. So what are the modifiers of human act? There are four modifiers of human act, but there are other two factors that also modifies human act. So let us first start to talk about the first modifier, which is what we call ignorance. What is ignorance? Ignorance is the absence of necessary knowledge which a person in a given situation who is performing certain act ought to have. So ignorance is a negative thing for it is a negation of knowledge. In short, it is the mere absence of knowledge. Now there, there are two types of ignorance. As you can see on your screen, we have vincible ignorance and invincible ignorance. Under vincible ignorance, we have three types. One is simple, vincible ignorance, crash or supine, vincible ignorance, and then number three is affected, vincible ignorance. And for the second type of ignorance, we have invincible ignorance. So let's start to talk about first the vincible ignorance. What is vincible ignorance? This is a type of ignorance which can and should be dispelled. The agent could know and should know. It can be cleared up if one is diligent enough. The knowledge can be by ordinary effort uh, is achieved but was not acquired because of negligence or intentionally not acquired. So let's start to talk about the first kind of vincible ignorance which is simple vincible ignorance. So what is this vin simple vincible ignorance? This is the kind of ignorance which exerts certain but not sufficiently enough effort to dispel his ignorance and obtain knowledge, for example. One is doubtful whether classes are suspended and he asks his classmates who is also doubtful. Then. He decides or this person decides not to go to class. 
Now the question, is he culpable of not coming to class if there are no suspensions? The answer is yes. He is culpable of not coming to class. Okay? So, because the principle is this. If one performs an unobjectively wrong act, whose wrongness one is unaware of because of simple ignorance, the action is culpable. However, the culpability is lessened by the presence of ignorance. So that's simple, principle ignorance. Now let, let, us, let us proceed to the second type of vincible ignorance, which is crass or supine vincible ignorance this is the kind of ignorance which the agent or the person perform performing the act has the capacity but does not exert any effort at all to dispel this ignorance and obtain knowledge for example christine a fourth year education student does not know about the schedule of practice teaching she is required to perform now she can easily ask any one of her classmates or check the bulletin board where the schedule of practice teaching is posted yet she does not bother to do so so that's an example of crass or supine principle ignorance now the moral principle is this in this kind of ignorance it lessens the imputability of an act but still makes one gravely culpable if it concerns a matter of grave in importance okay kanindere nagpabaya mangyabong ka okay so you are still culpable of the act now the third type kinds of vincible ignorance is what we call affected vincible ignorance what is this type of ignorance this is the kind of ignorance which the agent exerts positive effort to deliberately foster his ignorance in order to escape responsibility that knowledge may require now of these three this is the worst type of vincible ignorance because it is willfully established by the agent himself as an immediate excuse for any violations stemming from it for example a student who does not want to read the bulletin board or read in the student manual for he suspects that a certain regulations posted or written there is opposed to his plans so that's an example of affected vincible ignorance so what is the moral principle regarding affected vincible ignorance in this kind of ignorance the person does not excuse from his bad actions on the contrary it actually increases their malice or their moral responsibility okay imo naman yung gito yu okay now that's vincible ignorance what about the second type of ignorance this is vincible ignorance this is a type of ignorance which cannot be dispelled by ordinary diligence and reasonable effort in other words he is ignorant of his ignorance the person cannot be expected to take steps to enlighten himself because he is unaware that he is in need of enlightenment the person has no realization of his lack of knowledge okay so what are these instances it's good to find the causes of the instances of invincible ignorance now number one it may be impossible one of the causes of